Paul in the United Kingdom South Coast. Where would that be? Is that near, it must be near France, near the channel, I'm guessing. Uh, there is a UK valve-based hi-fi company, which we, he named, but we won't name it here because eh, that's not fair. Um, their view is that the digital data signal is very fragile and manipulating it in any way degrades the information contained within the stream. So they produce DACs and transports that nurse the stream <laughs> through the D to A conversion without any manipulation, and they claim this retrieves a sound that is more full-bodied and analog-like with bags of atmosphere and clarity that pull at the heartstrings. Aw, ought to have you write in our marketing copy. <laughs> in addition, they claim 16-bit 44 kilohertz is all that's needed. This seems to be in complete opposition to the rest of the hi-fi industry approach, which includes high-def recordings, reclocking, de-jittering, up-sampling, down-sampling, etc. One engineer described it as pulling a jigsaw apart, and by the time you put it back together, you've lost something. I hear noise. Oh, the cleaning crew is here. Eh, we might see some extra people in our video. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know about that. I mean, we certainly manipulate the bejesus out of the digital signal because that's what sounds best, looks best to us. And we've done a lot of work on that. And I don't know what you would do to that signal uh, to keep it, how did you put it? Fat and nice by not manipulating it. So what kind of manipulation do we do? Well, it, there's a lot. So depending on the DAC, we upsample it, as he pointed out. We run it through uh, de-jittering processes, and we do everything we can to try and perfect the digital signal. And to my ear, and everybody I know, it certainly sounds remarkably better than just simply taking the signal and doing nothing to it and outputting it. And I've made those experiments a number of times. Now, maybe this UK-based DAC company has got some other magic that they put into it. I, I really don't know. I've never listened to their products. Their pitch is interesting. I don't know. I, 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 it's unfair of me to even comment on it. I will comment on their idea that 1644 is adequate. First off, in one sense, they are correct. I will say that what we do, let's take Octave Records. We record everything at DSD 256, which is running at 11 megahertz, not 44 kilohertz, which a CD is. Um, but at the end of the day, all that we do, and there is a lot, finally winds up as a CD. And that CD sounds remarkable, and that CD is running at 1644.1. So no question that 44.116, the CD standard, can sound remarkable. They are absolutely correct. Does high sample rate DSD sound better? Absolutely. And there I would argue with them a lot. I can do AB examples of the original masters that we make DSD-256 at Octave Records, and they are stunning. The CDs, they are stunning too, but mm, they're, they're not like the original. So there, I'm going to have to say part of me agrees with them. The other part of me says, eh, eh, sorry, not buying it. I can prove it. I do it all the time for people. So, all right, hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.